leads that came in through REI, man, people were more hostile than ever before. <laughs> you know, um, that that's funny that you say that because last week was pretty good for me. I even got a deal under contract last week, but the week before, oh my yeah. God, I, I remarked to somebody else. I was like, Hey, you know, I don't know what, but it's like, everybody's just mean as hell. It's like, I don't like, er, I don't know. Like everybody's a smart ass. And fucking, like, yeah. like I stepped on them because I even texted them and I'm like, geez, Louise, what in the world? Yes. But if I had been green as you know what, I probably would. I probably would have packed it in. Wow. Probably would have said, fuck this. I'm done. Yeah. And you know, and wow. yeah, I would have, um, but I didn't cause I, I know those something about what's going on. Um, yeah. And, and one of the things that, an old timer taught me he said you know if if you've got a hundred problems and you quit you've now got 101 problems there there you know i got a couple of threats that, that i had been reported to the fbi and, oh uh, <laughs> what? yeah i love that one yeah i yeah. hear that sometimes too yeah and it's, uh, it's, it's really funny <laughs> and and some other in-depth analysis um of of, of what's going you know of, the, of this whole, yeah. the wholesale profession and um yeah it it triggered some crap, man. Uh, you know, my, one's mind would just go, and it's just so hard to perform. You know. Yeah. So I have an awareness now. <laughs> I yeah, that's I true. I need to fortify against that shit. Yeah. Well, you know, you got to realize too that the FBI is not interested in. One. I know, I know who's interested, in I know who's interested, and I know you know <laughs> they are not interested. In, but my, and, but, and we're not illegal in the first place. But it, oh hell no! What I know is what was the phone number they called? They didn't call anybody. They're just full of shit. No, they, no. And and no. Uh, yeah, and I, I hear that too sometimes, and I, I hear other things. I've stuff. been in that situation. I've had those phone calls. It's very different. Yeah. This is none of that. Well, I'm just talking about yeah. account of how it affects my accountability. I I. I have a chink in my armor. So that's that's the yeah. gift here that, that that crap that they're putting out yeah. exposed that for me. I need to I need to fortify. I need to uh, not let that take me out of the game mess with. Yeah, I think too uh, a few things bring me comfort, man. And let me just mm-hmm. share them with you if you don't mind. So we're talking about accountability here. W- one is is the fact that we're not doing anything illegal. Two is right. We're especially not doing anything illegal because they're on Zillow asking people to message or call or whatever in mm-hmm. the first place. So, you mm-hmm. know, you can't accuse someone of breaking a law of some kind by contacting you when you've asked them to fucking contact you. I mean, it's just stupid. So no That's one's true. no one's interested in anything that any of these people have to say because they're on Zillow advertising. Now, besides that, <clears throat> I have a comfort in knowing that there's no way that they're ever going to figure out who I am unless they're, unless they have subpoena power. In other words, unless, mm-hmm. unless I have really, really uh, screwed the pooch in some way, which I, I can't imagine what it would be. Right. And, and now I'm really, really in legal trouble. They could subpoena the phone number and find out who Twilio mm-hmm. has as this account and they could go, Oh, well, it's so-and-so and it's a guy. Never named happened. Ben, and uh, Jesus, what in the world would you have to do for them to care enough? Um, it, you know, it, um, yeah. Um, so, so what? What we what we also have here is a modern day, um, a modern day scam too. Because if you look it up, it's a real deal, and mm-hmm. and that is is that folks like you and I will call or text someone, or anyone will call or text someone. You may randomly get a wrong number by accidentally fat thumbing your phone one day and call a guy, sure. and, and he says, "Hello." Who is this? Well, I'm Ben. Is 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 Jim there? Is Justin there? Uh, no, I'm sorry, but um, you have broken the law, and I am attorney. Blah blah blah, and I am on the do not call list, and I'm going to sue you, and I'm going to turn you into the state attorney general's office unless you send mm-hmm. me twenty five hundred dollars settlement, and I'm going to send you a form right now. What is your address? Mm-hmm. It's a fucking scam, mm-hmm. <laughs> and people have fallen for it. Sadly enough, people in our business have fallen for it. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh, an attorney in Florida named you know, Larry Caldwell or whoever, you know, is, oh, he's threatening to sue me. And he said, I violated. Oh, no, I've got to send him at 500. He said, or or I'm going to get, I've got to settle or something for 500 today. He's just fucking screwing you. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. There's no way he can find you. And if he could, he has no case. There's no laws that have been broken. There's, there's really only immature people on the other end. So when I get, um, messages like that. My goal is is to delete them off of my 
my dashboard, like put them in a trash can as quickly as I can. So I don't have to interact with these people. Yeah. Because there are just some real nutcases out there. There sure are. And fill that your address at the white house. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. There's some real real crazies out there. You got to get them in a trash can as soon as possible. Good idea. But then too, you know, remember that, Hey, um, these people are kind of like, um, they're just kind of like, I think, I don't know. I want to call them birds, you know, like mm-hmm. they're just there to eat the good seed. <laughs> and, and if that guy, you know, I feel like if, if, if a guy can rattle me with a text message and believe me, I get, a, I'm a Southern kid. So I get a Tabasco sauce in my blood sometimes. And, mm. and it makes me hot when I get messages from people and I want to interact back in a, in a, in, yes. a smart, in a smart ass fashion myself. Yeah. And I had a guy this week tell me, he was like, oh, by the way, lease options are illegal in the state of Texas. I said, mm, what do I do with this? Do I throw it away? No, because I'm getting pissed off a little bit because the guy's trying to give me shitty legal advice. and He don't even know who the fuck I am. So I'm going to get mm. smart ass with the guy. And I said, you know what, buddy? They are legal. No sandwiches. Less than 36 months. And then he said, tell the judge that. I said, I said, fine. Would you like what's your email address, sir? I'll send you the state statutes. You need to read them for yourself. Yeah. Silence. See, he's, yeah, just full of, he's just full of shit. He's just a fucking I asshole. You, brother. You know I, what I mean? I know, yeah. I know full well I need my energy for other things. But I, too, am inclined sometimes to engage. And I have. And I know. Me, too. You got to. Yeah. I'm trying to do better I, about just throwing it away. Pearls uh, before swine. But it, 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 oh, Perfect. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Pearls before swine. That's exactly every time. what it is. And yet, yeah, I I, yet, even at this age, with this many years on the phone, I, I, I get that need you. Mm-hmm. I do too. You know, it's because you're a man. And yeah. nobody, nobody wants to be fucking talked down to. Man. I don't, you know, especially by a stranger. Right. <laughs> Somebody yeah. we don't even know. You don't fucking know. Yeah. You know, kick your fucking ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's kind of how I feel. Yeah. But he, who knows who this is or where they are. Yeah. or anything. So I got to put it back in perspective and just be like, okay, no, just DMD, do not dial, block the guy, get him in the trash, get him off my mind. Yeah. And go on because this is a profit robber for me. It's robbing my energy. It's robbing totally. my motivation. What do I have to do to shake this ah, shake this bad energy? Sometimes I take a break, turn it off, go swim, go jump on a trampoline, go fish, yeah. go watch a movie, go get some afternoon delight, you know, whatever. Yep, yep. <laughs> it just, you know, that's what works. To, got, you know, and then come back to it when I've forgotten about that fucking asshole, whatever, you know, when it's not like emotionally I'm energized. You just got to keep in mind that leads are very cheap. But your emotional state is it. It it can be hard to come back to. I mean, so throw them away. Exactly. Throw them away. Yeah. You guys used to remember me saying, fuck them if they can't take a joke. Exactly. Right. right? Every deal for the most part. Mm -hmm. I I was thinking about this the other day. I got off the phone with Alex Blanco. He's one of of us. And I was on the phone with one of his seller leads. Mm -hmm. And... You know, I got to thinking about this after it was over, because in that conversation, which, by the way, it sounds like we got the deal. So that's good. But that is good. But he said, um, he, he, you know, the guy was and it's this way, like with every pretty much every deal, there's a con- that second conversation or so, at least if you get that far, it's pretty hostile. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like, mm. it, it, it's not really like it's not as all like, oh, hey, you know. You know, gosh, it's just so much fun doing business with you. And yeah, you know, would eighteen fifty a month work? It would. Oh, perfect. Okay, mm. you're ready to sign. Okay, great. No, mm. it's. Not, I wish it was. It's. It's not. It, it's. It's a little more hostile. And and that's because you got to think these people are negotiating on one of the one of one of the if not the biggest asset they'll ever have in their whole life. You know, and so they're they're pretty defensive yeah. about it. In other words, so they'll say things like, um. Like, like what made me think of it was this guy the other day with Alex Blanco. I was literally on the phone saying things like, sir, listen, I, I'm not trying to make, sir, I'm not trying to make you do anything. No, mm-hmm. sir. No, I, that's what I know, sir. What I want is for you to be happy. So mm-hmm. I'm just trying to figure out what that is. All right. So if we can come mm-hmm. to that and it doesn't sound like we can, sir. Mm-hmm. That's what that, that's what that conversation sounded like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that was a winner conversation. I won. The guy, mm-hmm. the guy sent him a message tonight and said, hey, listen, I'm ready to do the deal. I'm going to sign the contract, all that good stuff. So it sounds like we got the deal. But you see, that conversation, in, in fact, is a little more heated yeah. and, and a little more. It's almost like 
there's there's that energy, there's that electrical, there's that hostility just under the surface. Mm-hmm. And if and as long as as long as me and the homeowner can keep it just under the under the blanket, things will move forward okay. But if it but if any ever, but, sir, this you know what it doesn't sound like this is going to be a good fit. All, mm-hmm. all right, before I go, is there anything that I can do to change this, or is this so? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm ripping the blanket off. Fuck you. I'm out. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's almost like that. All right. Mm-hmm. If, if that makes sense. It all does. Right? So I feel like people get the wrong idea because that first call and the script and all that is pretty pleasant. And yeah, you, it takes fucking balls, yeah. but it's pretty pleasant. But to get deals in this business, you have to be willing to be uncomfortable and you have to be willing to make that person uncomfortable. And they will make you uncomfortable for sure. They will accuse you of things. It just looks like he said, it looks like to me, you're just trying to tie up my property. And if somebody comes along, I'm going to, I'm going to lose out and you're not guaranteeing me anything. That's what he told me. Okay. You know what, sir? You're right. What do I need to do to fix that? Okay. I'm not trying to make you do anything, sir. Is this over or what? Cause it seems like, it seems like pretty much we're not going to have a deal here. Like it's pretty combative, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but once you get through to the end, it's like, Oh, all right. Great, sir. Thank you, man. It's, I'm really looking forward to doing this. I'm just, what's your email again? I'm going to send you the, the, everything kind of eases a little bit. Ooh, mm-hmm. we got, that's negotiating, you know, mm-hmm. that's just the way that it feels. And so it's, it, it's uncomfortable even for me at this stage. And I've been doing it a long time and I still kind of dread that uncomfortable tense moment where you don't know, is it a deal or is it not a deal? And he might even be, he might fucking hang up on me. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You might. I don't know. We need to find out. You know, that's the that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I don't know, guys. It's just an uncomfortableness that never for me became comfortable. However, I am pretty good at doing it now just because I know it's a necessary part of the, the conversation. OK. And it also helps that I have accountability like you guys. Yeah. It's like, OK, it helps to know <laughs> that I'm going to do this because I'm being I'm trying to play big brother here. You know, mm-hmm. so I, I'm not going to back down to this bully. I'm going to play big, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. for, for you guys' sake, at least, you know, and, you know, it's also my business. So, I mean, I, I kind of need to, I need to break through and I'm not going to, I'm not, Mr. Homeowner, I'm not going to let you run me off. You know, I mean, it sounds yeah. like, it sounds like you're trying to tell me, no, are you just being polite? Would you like to fire me right now? I, I said that to the guy the other day on that call too. Mm-hmm. I couldn't believe it. I was like, of, of all of the conversations that I have, all of them are like this. But this one is seriously highlights all I've said, all of the, I've drawn, I've drawn my line in the sand several times on this call. Mm -hmm. I've asked this guy to fire me two, three times. Mm. He just never did. Okay. So. Yeah. That's the interesting part. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm trying to find that. I'm trying to walk a fine line a little bit. And I don't know what that is, you know, but, but usually he brings the fight to me, the homeowner. I don't bring the fight to him. He brings it to me because usually it's, it's well, in this contract, I don't like this. It says mm-hmm. this, and I don't like this, and you want me to do this, or you don't want to do this, or you don't have this. or It's all very – he starts out throwing the first punch. It's like, whoa, 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 hold on, mm-hmm. whoa. You know, let me uh, – hold on, back up, slow down here before something gets too out of hand and we end up parting ways. You know, we got to – there's some hostility in this, you know, but yeah. we, keep it, we keep it civil, you know. <laughs> yeah guys it's a it's a it's a learned the learned thing and then if you if you blow a deal up it's okay like like alex said there's a lot of leads yeah it hurts to do that though it hurts to blow up one because you know oh man well you don't know sometimes you're like i don't know did i cause that or was that just not <laughs> i don't know yeah yeah shit unwinds and does screw with you mm-hmm. i think i think yeah and that's real um but I think keep the guys a beehive lead, maybe call them, you know, text him. him. If, if things get real heated and I have had things get pretty hot. Sure. You know, sure. you can send a guy a message later on and say, hey, man, you know, sorry how things went earlier. I'm still interested. And, you know, blah, sure. blah. If, if you want to talk, you know, shit, man. People respect that, too, sometimes. So. Yeah, they do. I've had people call me like a year later. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Like homeowners even. Hey, I don't know if you remember me, but. Mm. Uh, is that offer you made a year ago? Is that still something that we could we could do? Or wow, that's awesome. Okay, well, I, I don't know. I mean, what's your address, sir? I mean, let's start from the very beginning. I mean, who the hell is this? <laughs> you know, I mean, you know how many leads I've seen in the last year. That conversation I had with the guy where mm-hmm. he ver- where he verbally agreed to do the deal with Alex and me that night on the phone. I think that was Thursday. Today, 
today is Sunday. And he's just mm-hmm. now, and he's just now sending a message saying, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to do it. And, and we'll go ahead and blah, blah. What the mm-hmm. fuck? You, what did he do on fucking Friday and Saturday all fucking day and all fucking day to day? I mean, what's he been fucking doing? I, I don't know, right? but that's what homeowners do. It's just weird. They do. They yeah. do. So, you know, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta just have a little patience with the, you know, and, and kind of make an allotment in your life for, for people to be a little flaky because they're going to be. Appreciate Same it. Sorry, I, sorry I cussed so much. So. No, that's all right. I, I appreciate speak, it. I, I speak a lot of French, I guess. <laughs> Somebody said the other day, they're like, you speak a lot of French. I was like, oh, yeah. Ah, ah, fucking. No, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay. Real, we, we like to keep it real in the real estate wholesale <laughs> club. Yeah, yeah. You know the thing is, is a lot of people have done it, mm-hmm. and we have a tendency to think, "Why not me?" You know, what, what's wrong with me, or why mm-hmm. haven't mm-hmm. why haven't I, or what's the deficiency in my character or person or life or what have you? Yes. Uh, that's all just lies, though. You know, because those people, <laughs> those people that have done it. They went through all similar type bullshit as, as you are right now too, and yeah. and me and and truth be told, they're still going through a bunch of bullshit. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. So it, it just never ends, you know. It, <laughs> when it happens, it, it will happen because you you main you kept your shit together. You talked mm-hmm. a good game. Mm-hmm. You stayed patient with it. You followed up like a regular champion. You, you you fought till the end of the fourth quarter when the buzzer went off. The contract was yours, and that that's fucking yeah. how it works. I mean, and there's just, there's no yeah. fucking shortcuts, man. There's just no quicker way to win the game than play the whole fucking game. That's it, baby. 